For the last five years, Chitagata Refer Hospital in Shema District has been operating without running water. For the last three, five years back, this hospital has been having a very big challenge of water because the crisis was very, was very great. Uh, we had uh, flush toilets within the buildings, but because of lack of water, those, uh, those flush toilets could not work. Felix Mohanguzi, the Chitagata Hospital Administrator, says patients were required to fetch water outside the hospital. Because it was affecting the patients because they had to go out to buy water. Sometimes they, those who have no money, they, 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 they have been finding it a problem. Now that the water is here, they will be fetching right, getting water right within the ward. The Minister of Water and the Environment, together with Water Mission International, mobilized over 400 million shillings to install water pipe system at Chitagata Hospital. It took a bit of time, but finally we organized a partnership with Water Mission International Uganda, who put forward 150 million shillings. And because it is private, it was easier for them to disperse the money and start the project until government through its own procedures, disbursement system, also was able later on to come forward with 250 million shillings to make it 400 million shillings. But also over uh, 50 households along with this line have access to safe and clean water. We think that uh, this will improve uh, their health, uh, but also improve the services uh, in the hospital, especially for the mothers uh, who give birth there in the maternity ward. This water plant was officially opened by the Minister for Water and Environment, Ephraim Kamuntu. He handed it over to National Water and Sewer Corporation for maintenance. Since access to water is still a serious challenge in Chema district, the local leadership has called upon the government to extend water to households. The government should prioritize those hard to reach areas. One, by providing rainwater harvesting tanks, there are new systems that are coming on board, especially for pumping water using solar energy. These are things that government should be looking at. When we are talking of water for all, we shouldn't discriminate. We should be looking also at the geographical location of areas. That setting will help people to access water in different areas. According to the Minister of Water and Environment, the same water plant will be able to supply over 50 houses in the local community. Ivan Chimurichigozi, NTV. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs>